Good morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. Your host, Lisa Hell with Dane Henning, the psychedelic dude. Good morning. Good morning. We're good so morning, glad to morning, have you again. Good morning, good morning, good uh, morning. Did you see the post I put on Facebook last week on the NACA page about the unique nursing home design? With the tiny, basically the tiny homes? It looked like yeah. tiny homes. All yeah. the residence doors were like little front porches. Mm -hmm. And they had chairs, and mm -hmm. I mean, oh, and they could have plants. And I mean, it looked yeah. like a little 50s neighborhood. It yeah. was so cute. And mm -hmm. I thought, oh, that's where I want to go because I love to be outside. Well, it's funny, too, because I saw that um, shortly after that, there was somebody that <laughs> posted that they basically put their kids in tiny homes basically on their property. <laughs> uh, yes, I've seen those, too. <laughs> uh, well, that, that's a good idea, too. I think. That's, a, that's a really good idea. But the problem is, those are going to stay with you forever. Well, but at least they can go back to their own yeah. house. Go to your yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I've, now that I'm an empty nester, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Lex will be home, you know, during the summer, True. obviously, because she's in college. But um, our son's in Arizona, and he's, yeah. so he's not popping in. And I kind of miss having the kids I've, around. I, don't, I would too. I, would, I, would, I don't blame you. Yeah. And we actually got plots planned out on our site where mm -hmm. they can build little houses if they oh, want to. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, that's smart. So, that's smart. yeah. But we have 80 acres, so we can be yeah, spread yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't have to see each yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> Just stay, <laughs> stay on your side Just of the be floor, close. please. Yes. Or 80. Yeah. yeah. So it, that got me thinking about mm -hmm. not only how cool it is to feel like you're in a home and, and have a front porch and independent, mm -hmm. but how important it actually is to be outside. Sure. So I started looking up some data about older Americans and how they benefit from yep. being outdoors, mm -hmm. which is really interesting. I think we can all benefit from it. I mean, there are lots of studies out there about how nature improves your health overall, both physically and mentally. And we are this close to spring oh, as it stands right I now. I know, so. I have such spring fever. I was at Lowe's yesterday and I was in the garden center and it was cool outside and mm -hmm. there was another lady out there. I said, are we the only crazy people that have spring fever? <laughs> she said, I don't care, I'm buying it anyway. <laughs> Like all right, yeah. so I was, uh, I actually planted seedlings this weekend. I got my little germination chamber up and going, and oh, okay. I planted cabbage and lettuce and all kinds of things, peppers and tomatoes. And I checked my battery on my lawnmower. That's basically, <laughs> that's basically all I did. Thinking when that grass turns green, I'm ready. I'm mowing it. Yeah, it's, just, it's coming down. It's coming down quick. I know. My husband, I think, really wanted to change the oil and stuff on ours. Yeah this well, weekend but he didn't well we, we had a nice we had some nice weather over the weekend yeah. and i noticed that there so we were outside a little bit and i noticed that there was this patch of green grass <gasps> starting to grow and i'm like nice so nice. i thought well i should probably check out the tractor and see if it's ready to go i, I i'm gonna do my tune up and all that kind of stuff <laughs> yeah yeah well we're we're ready for that so yeah. let's talk about being outside and how it can improve your health so they have found it causes less depression and anxiety in older adults i buy it if they get out in younger nature. adults too yeah yeah and um of course if you can get out and actually do some physical activity that's wonderful because you're getting exercise True. along but not with all it. not all you know residents can do that exactly but, and yeah. so i have a few things that said if you couldn't exercise here are some of the benefits you can still receive perfect just a change of scenery sure the smell of fresh cut grass oh yeah Oh, oh. <laughs> just what you're talking about yeah oh, or even being able to see a beautiful garden so maybe a beautiful courtyard or yeah. or a garden of some kind flowers all flowers that kind of thing. and i it didn't mention this one but i personally think water features are wonderful because you hear that sound of that water moving like a, like a waterfall sort of mm -hmm, thing mm -hmm. okay yeah. or a little fountain or sure. something sure. and then that also attracts birds and butterflies and bees and things like that that it's come to the garden too yeah. yeah yeah so get all that in there um it can also provide a greater sense of vitality which they believe contributes to good overall health sure. and being able to fight diseases more effectively sure. okay um it can boost memory and a study found a 20% improvement in attention span and memory after one hour of being outdoors wow. on older Americans. Wow. And they said if you were outdoor longer than that, that, that it was exponential. Wow. Okay. So. Just wear sunscreen. Yes. Wear yeah. your sunscreen. Yeah, wear yes. sunscreen. <laughs> and vitamin D. Mm. So that's an important thing, especially we're here in the center of the country where a lot of people do not get enough vitamin D. Mm -hmm. It's just because of the way 
how long the sun's out every day. You know, right. we just sometimes cannot absorb as much as we need being inside and, sure. and that sort of thing. And so I'm a vitamin D person. I take that every day. Okay. But um, they say just 15 minutes sitting in the sunlight will really help bump your production of vitamin D. Interesting. Interesting. And so you don't have to be doing anything except sitting in the sun and just soaking it in. So. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So good things about being outside. Well, I plan on being one of those. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be... I mean, I'm I don't I'm pale right now and I'm hating it. <laughs> I hating it. I'm hating it. Mm -hmm. I meant to say. So, have you been at some facilities that have really cool outdoors? Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's uh, there's a couple in Indiana that I've seen. Uh, Oklahoma. They I know there are some of our member centers in Oklahoma. They have beautiful courtyards. Uh, the veterans homes in Missouri have. For the most part, at least from the ones that I went to, they all have awesome courtyards. That's cool. Um, but yeah, so I I buy it. I know a lot of the residents are trying to go out there so they can smoke. But. Oh, well, we're not going to mention that part of it. That might help with but, the overall health thing. Yeah. So let's not, let's not but add yeah, it. But yeah, I mean, I, I think it should be the same thing for you guys too. I mean, uh, but you know, being outside helps helps. I mean, we're, there's, there's a reason why we're supposed to be outside. That's right. But just wear sunscreen, just, you know. I don't want to condone. I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, go outside. And then all of a sudden you come back, Dane, listen, I got sunburn. I got three degree burns on my back. Um, I don't want that. So wear sunscreen. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> thank you, Dr. Dane. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm, like, I'm, I'm not getting in trouble for this. I hear you. Okay. Well, if you have a facility that has a beautiful outdoor area for your residents, we would love to see some pictures. Yeah. If you post yeah, them on our pictures. Facebook page, we would love that. Yeah, I'd love to see them. Yeah. Because... We uh, all need that. So. Every time I go to visit a nursing center, nursing home, I always ask to go see the, the, <laughs> the courtyard because I love the courtyards. Those are my, always my favorite. But they typically, for the most part, they a lot of the time they do. That's like priority. That's great. Yeah, that's priority I love that. to get the. I mean, very very rarely have I seen a bad courtyard or something yeah. similar. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's harder when you're in a larger city environment and stuff, mm -hmm. but you can do it. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, mm -hmm. there are some that are actually in Detroit that. Oh surprisingly nice surprise awesome. and it's always like the, the interior part of the of the home like the facility surrounds yeah it. there's yeah you got and it's just this interior thing and so you get natural sunlight coming in over the top nice. during certain hours and you have the flowers and you mm -hmm. have the little fountains that mm -hmm. go in nice. and birds come in and visit and all kinds of stuff yeah very yeah. good yeah. Great. So good. all right well we encourage you all to get out and enjoy your outdoor spaces along with your residents and send us those pictures. And until we see you later in the week, peace, peace out. out.